I'll do it. Oh, I, I can't make a change. Because that that is the kind of mentality that keeps things like Columbus Day a national holiday. It's, it's the kind of thing that, that keeps injustice alive. Complacency, laziness. You know, because we can say, oh, you know, I, I, I like these signs up here. It says uh, illegal immigration began in 1492, and and that's and that's true um, according to today's standards of what immigration is, and 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 all the backlash to people that used to live here anyway, but now because of an imaginary line, and they're on the other side, and they don't have papers, they're not supposed to be here. Um, I don't understand that because it doesn't make any sense to me. But we have to understand that it's an institution that keeps this mentality around, you know, and and it's it's up to us to break out of that, to, to be able to to want something more for our future, for our kids. And that's I feel where we can make a huge change is with the the kids. You know, volunteering at you know the Daybreak Star Youth Home. They're in serious need of, of some good energy over there. And they do really good work. But they need the fuel of the people to ignite programs within that. Because these organizations have a limited amount of money and it relies on the people to support it. So it's our job in our community to make a change. And that's the only way bigger change will happen. You know, because I can talk here all day and talk about how Columbus was awful. Yes, we all know that. And But we got to do something because talk is cheap. But actions speak miles. So it's up to what you do when you leave here. Who you talk to today about this day, you know, the truth of Columbus Day, how the how, you know, not even just native people, but how people feel about a tyrant being celebrated. There's only two holidays in the US calendar that celebrates one person. It's Columbus Day and Martin Luther King Day. Which is such a you know, it's both sides of the spectrum. We have Martin Luther King, you know, he wasn't a good citizen because he was a revolutionary. And then we have Columbus that was, you know, destroyer, murderer. But these are the two holidays that are dedicated to one person. And so let's think about that mentality of this country, where we want it to go. Do we want to celebrate these two, you know, polar opposites? Why don't we just celebrate the people of this land? I think it's uh, November is, uh, you know, Native American History Month or something like that. Which I think last year was the first year. I don't know, but not many people know about it. So it's up to you to educate, you know, the people around you. To, to push for schools, if you have kids, to push the schools to teach historically correct history to these children. To include Native history, because as a kid, I remember learning about the Trail of Tears, and it was in a paragraph this big, and then they talked about how great, you know, Texas was and everything else. It was just such a small piece of, of, of what actually happened. You know, it's it's not a time to gloss this over and, and to forget about it. Because in order to not let these things happen again, we need to be able to, to remember what has been done. And not to, you know, relive it every day, but to know that it happened, acknowledge it, and not let it happen again. <clears throat> On that note, um, if anybody would like to sing a song or share some words. Easy Mucklucks. My name is Joe Dupree. So I'm the president of First Nations.
the person of First Nations this year. I'd like to thank Old North Lions for hosting such an event. It's, it's great to see so many Redskin people and all the people who are support us in this day, this time of resistance. So, the South Park First Nations, we're the largest undergraduate Native student group on the University of Washington Seattle campus. So, due to uh, Thanks to our efforts, and just as Kansas Columbus State is now no longer part of the university calendar. So for the last two years. So it's great. Here with me today is Tyson Johnson, previous First Nation member and powwow chair. Also, Helen Fomar, our communications chair, and Wayne Harvey, our the vice president for this year. Personally, this today, this day, to me, it means it means a lot. Especially for many of the reasons I've already been spoken, but even more so that since there's so much resistance towards this day, that we're throwing off these shackles that have, been given, that have been placed onto us. For over 500 years, we've been resisting. And now we're finally getting a nation that celebrates it. We're starting to show them that we don't want it. They're starting to see that. Because of events like this, that what we say is visible, the people, the indigenous people, are finally getting, starting to get their word in more and more. I right, just thank you for having us. First Nation fully supports the Boston Columbus Day, making it Indigenous Peoples Day. So catch up. Thank you. Here, written in my soul, the words of the Ogallala Lakota people. The words are: This is our country. My grandmother, before she died, she said. Pila, I want you to remember something for me. And I said, Grandmother, you are 113 years old. What do you want me to remember? And she said, Remember, I never surrendered. The white man came here, and the fences kept coming closer and closer. She said, Yesterday they ran over my dog. I have over 300 horses. And the white man came here and took my horses and put them on a train and turned them into blue. She said, now I don't even have a horse, so I have a dog. And the, and the white man came and they killed her dog. She never had running water. She lived in a log cabin. She had no electricity. But you know what? She died free. She said, I never surrendered. So I say, I never surrendered either. I want to see that Native Americans are hired at Native American facilities. I want to see an Indian, a Native American, behind the desk. I want to see our Native people have Native jobs Native monies that are allocated to us. I want our people to be treated fairly. I have a friend, a relative. She was in the hospital. And United Indians of all tribes came and fired her in her hospital bed. That is not right. I stand here in only one saying, and that is that I never surrendered and that I hope that you never surrender either. So my sister, can you please come up here and stand with me? Sanet. She is part of the American Indian Movement. We are waiting for our drum to arrive. They just went after it. So we will sing the American Indian Movement song, my sister and I. And if my sister wants to say a few words, I will turn this over to her. Good 
about killing my relatives. I'm glad that you're all here today in support of uh, this day. Uh, whoever Christopher Columbus is, I don't know. It was uh, 1492, I guess, we discovered him. Uh, uh, so as they bring that drum group, uh, I guess they're going to sing the A song here. Uh, and this uh, one of the original longest walk walk walkers is uh, Charles here.